Hey, this is Presh Tolwalker reminding you to mind your decisions. This is said to be the world's toughest riddle, and it's going viral in India. I have 50 rupees. Let's do some accounting on how I spend it. If I spend 20, I'll have a balance of 30. If I then spend 15, I'll have a balance of 15. If I then spend 9, I'll have a balance of 6. And if I spend that 6, I'll have a balance of 0. The total amount in the spend column will be 50. Now, what's the total amount in the balance column? Whoa, it's not 50. It's actually 51. And this is the puzzle. Where did the extra one rupee come from? This is a really fun problem, and you can translate it to your local currency. You'll be surprised by how many people around the world don't understand where this extra one rupee comes from. Pause the video if you'd like to give it a try, and when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. So to better understand this problem, let's illustrate what's going on. We start out with 50 units of currency. Let's compare the amount that we spend versus the balance remaining. If we start out spending 20, we'll remove 20 of these dots to the spending column, and then we have a balance of 30. Well, what happens if we spend 15? We then remove 15, and we have a balance of 15. So far, so good. Now we spend 9, which leaves a balance of 6, and then we spend that 6, and of course, we're going to have a balance of 0. So actually, all of these numbers are correct. The total amount that we spend will be equal to 50. The question is, why is the total in this balance column equal to 51? Well, the reason is there's actually no problem with the numbers. The correct equation is that the balance plus the total amount spent will be equal to 50. It's not going to be true that the sum of the balance column will be equal to 50. Sometimes it will be, but in this case, it'll be equal to 51. Let's think about this problem a little bit more abstractly. Let's suppose we spend S1. Our balance will be 50 minus S1. If we then spend S2, we have a balance of 50 minus S1 minus S2. If we then spend S3, we subtract S3 from the balance column. We then have S4 and subtract that. The total amount in the spending column will be the sum of these spending amounts. And now the total amount in the balance column will be this function. 200 minus 4 times S1 minus 3 times S2 minus 2 times S3 minus S4. If we put in the amounts from the original problem, we can see what the result is for each of these columns. So all of these numbers will actually be correct. The total amount in the spending column will be 50, but now the balance column, when we evaluate this function, we get a result of 51. And that's fine, it doesn't have to be equal to 50. So if we go back to the original table, it's completely correct and there's no problem with the numbers. It's just a trick question to compare the sum of these two columns, and you'd be surprised by how many people get confused. I challenge you to ask 10 people and see how many will figure it out. And it's okay if they're confused, because now you'll be able to explain why the 50 and 51 are not equal to each other. Thanks for watching and for making Mind Your Decisions one of the best channels on YouTube. Thanks for watching and thanks for your support.